Hello there, it's Anna here and welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today we will work one more chubby animal for this YouTube channel. If you don't know it already, there is a collection of chubby animals here and this zebra is one more. We are working here with a 2mm crochet hook and 100% cotton yarn, but all the information about the material you can find in the free reading pattern in the description below, okay? So for now, let's start the pattern. Great! We will start here with the white and we will work a magic ring here. If you don't know how to make the magic ring or the magic circle, check out the description of this video. There is links for video tutorials for all stitches and technique I used in this pattern, all right, including the magic ring. So here you will work six single crochet inside the magic ring. You can pretty much see how it's done in this video. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's close it tight. But if it's too fast for you, check out the tutorials. They are slower and with a bigger yarn and needle, so it's with more details for you. For the second round, you will work six increases and you should have 12 stitches at the end of the round, okay? Here, when I say increase, that means you will make two single crochet inside one stitch, okay? So this was my first increase. Now here on the second stitch I make two more and so on. All right, two single crochet inside each stitch all the way until the end and you shall have 12 stitches at the end of this round. I like to show you here that um, I double secure the beginning of my yarn and I take a tapestry needle and I introduce the beginning of the yarn in the first stitches of the round, okay? So it makes sure that the magic ring will remain very nice and closed. Now let's add here a stitch marker. In my case, I just like to use a piece of a different color yarn to mark here my stitch. So that, that, that is my stitch marker. Moving on for third round, you will work one single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. So here I work the first repetition with you. Oops. Okay, so you can see it here. One single crochet and this is my increase. Repeat all the way until the end. And you should have this. Okay, this is how it should be looking like. Now for the fourth round you will work two single crochet, one increase. Repeat six times and you should have 24 stitches at the end of the round. And from now on we will go increasing stitches, okay? So I show you here the first repetition, one and two, and this is my increase, okay? Repeat all the way until the end and I will catch you up once you're done and you should be looking like that. For the fifth round you will work three single crochet, one increase, repeat six times and you should have 30 stitches at the end of the round. Count how many stitches you have it here. It's it's uh, always good to count. Okay, so this is the first repetition. So let's see here. One, two, three, and this is my increase. Okay, repeat all the way until the end. And let's move on for the round number six. Here you will work four single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 36 stitches by the end of this round. All right, so here again, let's work the first repetition together. All right, so here you have one, two, three, four single crochet, and this is the increase. Okay, repeat all the way until the end or six times. And now moving on for round number seven. Here you'll work five single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 42 stitches at the end of the round. Count how many stitches you have, especially if we are growing this many stitches. Now my increase over here. Okay. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, and the increase. Repeat 
six times all the way until the end. And let's move on for our last round with increases, okay? So here for round number eight, you will work six single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 48 stitches at the end of the round. So let's work here together the first repetition. Okay, and my increase. And let's see here. One, two, three, uh, five, six, <laughs> and uh, increase. A bug came inside my house right now and I got a bit distracted. Never mind. So this is how it should be looking like. Count that if you have 48 stitches here, all right? Now for round nine to 15, you will work just 48 uh, stitches. This will be the height, the size of the head, okay? And now this is the time that you pause the video, that you relax and make all your repetitions. And once you're done, this is how it should be looking like, okay? This one is our last round with increase. You can see the increase right over here, okay? So you have round 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14th and 16th, okay? All good here. Now let's start working the decreases. So here you will work for round 16, six single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 42 stitches at the end of the round. So let's work here the first repetition together. I'm still searching for that bug. Okay. And here for the invisible decrease, in amigurumis, you just grab the first, the front loop of the next two stitches, okay? And then you continue working your decrease, all right? So work all the way around and I will catch you up at the end. And let's move on here for round number 17. You will work five single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of the round. If you don't know or this video is too fast for you, how to make the invisible decrease, check the links available here. There is a tutorial only about the invisible decreases. But you see here, it's basically you just grab the front loop of the next two stitches and that's it. Repeat all the way around. And let's move on here for the next round. For round 18, you will work four single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times and you should have 30 stitches at the end of this round. So let's work here our first repetition together. Okay, so now my decrease over here. All right, now let's move on. I will catch you up at the end of the round. And for round number 19, you will work three single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 24 stitches at the end of this round. We will be done with the body of our chubby zebra soon. A couple of rounds more. Okay, so you repeat all the way around. And now for the next round, round number 20, you will work two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times and you should have 18 stitches at the end of the round. All right. Super good, first repetition here together. Now let's move on. We will quick stop here to add stuffing material before moving for our next and final round. So here add as many stitches as you want. And once you're done, let's move for our final round, round number 21. You will work one single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times and you should have 12 stitches at the end of the round. And this is where we will stop, okay? So here, let's work our first repetition together. And then I will catch you up so we can fasten this off. 
All right, continue working your rounds. And once you have 12 stitches, you can cut the thread. Okay, and now we will introduce this to a tapestry needle. And to fasten this off, we'll grab just the front loop of the stitch. Okay, just the front loop. Here, while you're grabbing the front loop, you don't need, you don't need to pull it too much. You know, we can just grab the front loop and we will pull it tighter later. Just make it sure here that you're grabbing the first, uh, the whole frontal loop and not uh, introducing between the plies, okay? Once you grab all of them, you pull it tight. And now let's just wave this here inside the last stitches of the last round, okay? I like to do this to make it tighter. And closer and now we can wave in around the body cut the yarn and shape up back because we are squeezing a lot super good now let's move on here we'll start working the legs okay of this beautiful zebra so we'll start once again with the magic ring and you will crochet here inside the magic ring six single crochet okay So this you know already, it's, it should be very smooth and easy for you, I hope. Okay, so let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's pull this yarn tight and move on for the second round. And here for the second round you will work six increases, okay? And then you should have 12 stitches at the end of the round. So work here your increases. You already know how it's done that. This is my first increase. The first stitch of the magic ring can be a little bit tighter than the other ones sometimes. Okay, moving on for my second increase and so on. And I will catch you up once you finish with this. Great. Now I just want to show you here again that I like to double secure the beginning of my yarn. This is very important because then you don't have any see-through holes in your magic ring. And it's super fast to make. All right. So now that you have here the 12 stitches, for the third round you will work a bit different. We will work with the back post single crochet, okay? So for the third round you will work 12 back post single crochet. Here in this video you can see pretty much how it's done. You introduce your needle from the front to the back uh, between the posts of the stitches, all right? But, of course, there is a video tutorial only dedicated about the back post single crochet because I love this stitch very much. <laughs> okay, once you reach the last back post single crochet, we will work a color change, okay? And now for the round four to six, you can work just 12 single crochet. You see here that uh, when I work a color change, I start with my first stitch with this slip stitch. If you're not familiar with that, you can check out the four most used ways to change colors in crochet toys. It's a very nice tutorial and you can choose whichever color change that it suits you, that you like the most. Maybe the one that I like the most is different than the one that you like the most and that happens very often. So check out, it's four ways and it's a very useful tutorial. All right, so let's just give a simple knot here. You can do that actually in the first round after the color changed, but I forgot. You hide this inside and then you pull the yarn to the back side, to the wrong side of the detail. And like this one, you make four more. Da da da! Okay, so now here let's continue. We will be working the ear now, and for that you will repeat round first and second, which is six single crochet and six increases. And here for the third round you will work one single crochet, one increase. Okay, and this is the result once you repeat all the way around. You should have 18 stitches at the end here. On your last increase, you are working a color change, okay? And now for 
rounds four to seven, you will work 18 single crochet. This is for the ear, okay? So let's just work those repetitions here and I will catch you up at the last of the rounds for the next instructions. Okay, so once you repeat here, you see you can cut the black thread, we won't need that anymore. All right, you can pull this inside of the detail. And now let's move on for round number eight. We will start working a couple of decreases. So here you work one single crochet, three decreases, three consecutive decreases, I will show you here, and then 11 single crochet, all right? So this is the first decrease, moving on for the next, okay? Second decrease, moving on for the next. And third decrease. All right, and now you continue working single crochet all the way until the end, which is 11 single crochet. Once you're done, this is how it should be looking like. And let's move on for round number nine. Here you work again, one single crochet and three consecutive decreases. You will have a total here of 12 stitches at the end of this round. So this is my first decrease. And let's move on here. We'll work in the decreases together. Okay. And now you continue working here your single crochet all the way until the end. All right. Okay. So this is the result that we want. This gap over there that we will organize it later while when we are sewing this. Okay, so you can cut this yarn, leave a little bit of room for sewing it in the toy later. And like this one, you make another one. I love in videos because they're just like, ta-da, it's ready here, look at this. <laughs> 